And like, whenever I'm in the shower, and I don't know what this is, I don't know if it's like the onset of a stroke or some brain abnormality, bro. But I, when I'm in the shower, I be seeing like this little like gray thing that's just like waving around like this. In front of your face? Yeah, but it's only when I make my eyes unfocused. It's weird, bro. It's like a little gray floating worm, and it's just going like this. And I'll be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe you have parasites in your eyes. I was thinking that too, bro. Like, what if I got a parasite in my eye? That's only in the shower? It is only when I'm in the shower. Maybe, Maybe he the, hates steam. The steam, yeah, brings it out. It's trying to survive. What if I have parasites? In? Maybe it's deep in your eye. <sighs> no, I don't want to go blind. <laughs> Why are you look? Why are you looking this up? You're trying to ruin me. Oh no! <laughs> Fuck no! We can't start with shit like this, bro. But not even thinking. If you were blind, you wouldn't even know it was on the screen right now. You know what I mean? That's true. So maybe I should. You'd be pretty cool blind. No, I would not. You pull it off. No, I wouldn't. I'd be the worst blind person ever. And, uh, when black people go blind, they're way cooler. <laughs> uh, when they're born blind, <laughs> fuck no. If I go blind, I'm fucked for life. Black I would, people I, cool when they go deaf. I would walk around screaming. Yeah. If I was blind, I would legit be, ah, I can't see anything. Somebody kill me. Nah, you'd be touching everybody's face. I don't want to do that. What's his face? Stevie Wonder um, took Deion Cole's girl. No. You ever heard that story? Who, Deion Cole, the comedian? Yeah. Deion Cole went to like a Stevie Wonder show, and then afterwards, um, she wanted to go meet him, and then she got to go meet him, but Deion Cole was, like, waiting outside, then he was, like, waiting for, like, two hours, then then he, like, talked to the security guards, they're like, I don't know where your girl is, da, 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 da. then, like, three hours, she comes out, and she's like, I'm staying with Stevie. Yo. All right, but you know what? And I've heard a lot of crazy Stevie Wonder stories. The thing is, bro, if you're a millionaire, you can take anybody's girl. If you're a legend and a millionaire, you can take anybody's girl, bro. Yeah. No matter what you got. You could be deaf, blind, handicapped, don't fucking matter, bro. Mm. Shit, look at um Stephen Hawkins. He was out here fucking cheating on his wife. Yeah. And he couldn't even fucking do nothing with his body. Was he really on the pedophile island? He was. Doing what? You know who else was on there? David Copperfield? Yeah. He used to do magic show. He said he claimed that he didn't know that anything, any foul play was going on, but he used to Well, yeah, a lot of people said that. I, Chris Tucker said the same thing. Everybody says it. Yeah, Chris Tucker said, like, he just was on the flight, but he didn't, like... He was like, when I got to the island, we just did normal partying and shit. Like, we didn't How see can no nobody that yeah. went to the island know that there was pedophiles? People are liars, that's why. Have you seen this Nickelodeon doc, bro? With the foot pull? That's the, that's the least of it. You said the least important part about that documentary, bro. That's the important part. No, it ain't. He had a pool shaped like a foot. Bro, this motherfucker was making kids give him massages and do weird shit, bro. Who, the Zack Snyder? Yes. Yeah? No, I didn't watch that. Bro. He had these kids, all of his jokes had some shit to do with dicks or like getting nutted on. What do you mean? Like that's where all that ooze and shit came from. That's where Mr. Pickle came from. All that shit was was about phallic shit and kids sucking dick and getting busted on. Getting slimed? Right? Yes, bro. Really? I used to want to get slimed so So bad. did I. I want to get slimed so bad. <laughs> like, please, can somebody slime Yes. Me? I asked my mom because she signed me up to go on that fucking show. Yeah. I'm like, mom, please. She was like, no. And my mom's way back then, she was like, she was like, son, you're going to thank me one day that I, I that you aren't like a child actor or none of this type of shit. She was like, because there's a bunch of freak things going on over there. I was like, mom, you're a hater, lady. You know what the fuck you talking about? Sign me up. Yeah. I want them to put slime in my mouth. You see what I'm saying? I want to eat a good burger. Yes. <laughs> Bro, it's crazy. He would make he would make the kids wear like uh costumes where like you can see they dick prints and shit like that. Yeah. What yes. do you mean? Just in, but not on the TV show. Yes, on the TV show. No, they didn't. Where? Bro, they did. They had a rapper named Mr. Fetus. Can you look up Mr. Fetus? Bro, look at this shit. He was the youngest rapper ever. And look at this costume. Mr. Fetus. It's a K in there, Nickelodeon. That's crazy to be such a pedophile in the fetuses. Uh, <laughs> right, he didn't want the baby to be born yet. <laughs> He's like, I want to touch this nigga before he even uh, born. This is Mr. Feet. This is who you're talking about? No. Nope. It's a black boy inside of a costume. Oh, no. Maybe it's little feet. Maybe it's little fetus. <laughs> type in rapper. Type in rapper. Maybe just a fetus rapper. You type yeah. raper. <laughs> Little fetus, they bring up little baby. <laughs> <laughs> there you go with the brown costume right here. 
What is this? There's a little black young boy with a fucking costume on. He looks like uh, Yakub. He does look like Yakub. Look at this shit, bro. Wait, so they have him basically in a skin suit? Yeah. Hey, boy was saying how uncomfortable he was. Because he was like, I was a growing boy. He like, I didn't want my dick to be out. He like, I knew it, he like, I knew it wasn't right. Hey. Bro, it's fucked up. He had fucking... Then not, not only that, the people that he hired was pedophiles. So you know, you know, um, what's that show called? Uh Drake and Drake and Josh. Drake and Josh. Drake got raped by fucking one of his um by Mr. Pickle. <laughs> He's Mr. Pickle. <laughs> he he brought Mr. Pickle. <laughs> Drake got raped by him. Mr. Pickle also might have raped might also might have raped um Leonardo DiCaprio. And every time you see him, he just touching on he just touching on fucking kids and shit like that. Look at that. That's just a whole asshole right there. Bro, Google's trying to censor Mr. Pickle. They are. Why does Mr. Pickle not pop right up? How because many Mr. Pickles could there be? Because he got locked up for fucking raping people. Yeah. Where is this guy? Show him. Yeah, they're burying this guy. Maybe type in Mr. Pickle. Type in pedophile. Yeah, Mr. Pickle mugshot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not going to pop up. <laughs> pedophile? Yeah, pedo. There he is. Which one? Him in the middle? No, that's the... Yeah, wait, is that him? He look, no, that's him. That's him with the glasses. With the green background. Go down right there. Yeah, with the glasses right there. That's him. Oh, yeah, that's a pedophile. Yeah, yeah, that's him. He fucking raped Drake, bro. Yeah? Yes. And his dad and his dad was like, yo, he was like, I always thought something was up with this guy. He was like, because my son would be getting dressed. He was like, and at this time, he's probably 12 or 13. He was like, and the guy would be like, like helping him put, like, put his clothes on. He like, and, I, and he like, and I came in one time, like, yo, what are you doing? Like, my son can dress himself. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And then he said that they came at him. He said then, like, the producers of the show came at him, like, yo, like, what are you, fuck? like, yo, he's a gay man. Like, what are you fucking homophobic? Is that why you're acting like that? And he told him, he's like, yo, I ain't know he was gay. If, I, if that was me, I'd have been like, Oh, this is more. I'm right then. If he's gay, why is he touching my son like that? The fuck is happening? Yeah, that doesn't fix anything. It doesn't fix anything telling me that he's gay. Yeah. But the crazy thing is seeing how all these parents are just so dumb and naive. Like, I mean, I just didn't want to be in a way. It's like, bro, they raping your kids, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't know. So everybody in Hollywood's a pedophile or a rapist? Or some type of freak. Yeah. It's, a, it's an episode with Diddy, and, they, and he telling them, them to put a helicopter down some kid's pants. What's that mean? Because the, the kid would sleep on the couch, and he's like, we can't wake him up. Mr. P. Diddy, we can't wake him up. He was like, poor bunch of fucking, what he said? He said, poor bunch of mayonnaise in his face. Or, and then they just poured, no, he said, poor bunch of sour milk in his face. Then he poured a bunch of sour milk in his face, which is like a cum shot. And the kid don't wake up. He's like, he's still not waking up. And he was like, huh, take this helicopter. He was like, and stuff it down his pants. And then they take the helicopter, put it down the kid's pants. And then they come back, he's like, he still ain't wake up. And then he grabbed the remote and he was like, now push this button. And he pushed the button, and the kid wake up like, ah, ah. It's like, bro, it's just too much freak shit with Nickelodeon shit, bro. Yeah. Everything got to do with dicks all the time. I don't know. You think it's a, a cabal of Satanists? I think these are some rituals that we don't know about. Yeah. And everybody in Hollywood knows about it. And it has something to do with maybe drawing the energy from children or... Yeah. Drawing sexual energy from children or some shit like that. What's the religion they is it Cabal with the red bracelets? Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, that's like a, some Jewish shit, ain't Cabalism? it? Cabalism? Is yeah. it Jewish? Cabalism is Jewish. Oh. I think Shakir is into Cabal or something. Bruh. I very I'm like very on the peripheral of how I just think they're all like reptiles. I, I uh, think so. Bro, they are freaks. Yeah. It's a bunch of freaks and pedophiles. Don't let your kid be a damn... Hey, well, actually, don't let your kid be a damn child star. The dude that uh, made Rick and Morty made, like, a spinoff um, Dexter parody where he was, like, a pedophile. And it was, like, a home movie where he just, like, rapes a baby doll. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Because he got... Didn't he get fired for that? Yeah. I don't know. Bro, what's up with these guys, yo? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> On to something lighter. Yeah, yeah, we shouldn't start out talking about that. No. We'll get killed. Yeah, let's talk about mm, funny things. Because here at AOX, not only are we funny, we give you the most deepest, darkest, uh, surprising facts. Conspiracies, stories that are only factual, 
And you know what you also get? You also get a little bit of our personal business. You get a lot of bit of our personal business. We we, we fill you up with secrets, facts, and fucking jokes. You see what I'm saying? No penises, no cums. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Only the good things in life. Like laughs. And to my left, I have my partner in crime, Ben Stop. And to my right, very special Naeem edition, the best he's ever been, Ramadan Naeem, Naeem X. Give it up for Naeem. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. You think this is the best you've ever been? You think you're your peak at on Ramadan? Um, yes. I think I think this is the best I've ever been in life. Yeah. Any other time in life I had some bullshit going on. True. Except yeah. right now. Except right now. I don't I don't have bro, there's no BS. I'm not cheating on a girl. I'm not lying to nobody about nothing. I'm not working at Rita's Water Ice stealing money every day. That was a, such a stressful time in my life, bro. True. Can you imagine stealing every day? This is the first time you haven't cheated on a girl since you didn't have a girl. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know what? That's true. I guess there's nobody to cheat on. <laughs> but um, I, I was talking to someone that was doing Rabadon, and I was like, how you, how'd you... He was like, yeah, but I prepared for it. And it was like, how'd you prepare for it? He was like, all last month... He basically has done Rabadon for two months. Oh, yeah, nice. I did that for like two weeks leading up to it. No, I'm like a week, a week, a week leading up to it. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's important, probably. Yeah, I mean, you just want to. Sometimes you want to, if you're going to make a mistake, you want to do it the week before. You know? Okay. Like you want to, you want to test your metal and be like, all right, let's start fasting right now. And then let's say day two, you like, yo, I'm not ready for this at all. You, you might backslide a little bit, eat something, eat a little bit of something, and you're like, all right, I'm only going to eat the, I'm going to eat two peanuts, and then that's it. Okay. You know what I'm saying, hmm. prepare your stomach for what you're about to go through. Gotcha. Do you wanna you wanna start off with a fact name? Yes, let's start off. Matter of fact, George will start us off with a Patreon fan fact. Yay. All right. This one comes from Chase and it says, Ayo, actually, the largest dams, hydraulic power plants, are in China and new, but the third largest generates nearly the same electricity annually as China's big one. The the Itaipu Dam opened in 1984. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then he has another one. Ayo, actually, the honey badger might be the worst thing in the world to encounter one-on-one pre-gun era. That isn't larger than you. Okay. Okay, wait, there's a lot to unpack here. There is. <laughs> it's two completely different facts. Two co- these facts have nothing to do with each other. I thought he was going to tell us that honey badger built these dams or something. <laughs> That's where I thought he was going. Um. Wait, so what, they're... Okay. So the two largest dams are in China, and they're brand new. But the third largest dam generates nearly the same electricity annually as China's big one. Okay. And that dam was in 1984. Okay, so basically he's saying that they built China built something new that isn't even better than something that was built in 1984 in South America. That's what he's saying. So we're way behind in our dam technology. We are behind our dam technology. God damn it. Interesting. And there's also their rivers are completely inhabitable. I guess they got to do something with the dams. What you mean? Uh, what, what, in China? Mean, yeah. You can't go in there without getting, like, three diseases. Oh, for sure. You, like, can't even touch the water. Yeah, no. Yeah. That's the dirtiest, most polluted water ever. Yeah. That's not a place. Most of the places in Asia, if you travel to as an American, you get sick Im- immediately. Oh, yeah, bro, you can't even breathe the air. Yeah. They don't care because they don't care about pollution. Yeah. Josh was telling me about, like, he was like, you need to go to India one day. You'll be sick for two weeks, but, like, the third week is going to be. I'm like, Never. No. I would never go there. And he says that people sell you bottled, like you can only drink bottled water in India and a lot of people will sell river water that they put in a water bottle then glue. Oh my God. It's crazy. I wouldn't want to eat or drink anything in India. I don't even want to go there. I've never seen, uh, I've never seen any pictures of India where I was like, oh, I want to visit this place. Never not seen one. For real? There's Never. So many, there's so many beautiful pictures of India. Oh, bro. Every picture of India you see is like people just like eating grapes on an elephant. No, it ain't. Every picture I see is a bunch of motherfuckers riding bikes in traffic and a bunch of dirty motherfuckers, bro. And a, and a bunch of Indians and a bunch of untouchables getting dipped down inside of shit tunnels. You ever seen that before? Yeah, I've learned. I've learned about um, the caste system and shit. Oh, it's horrible. Because I'm talking to that Indian girl. Mm-hmm. She was bragging about her caste. In the oh, oh, so she's like high up in. No, she's like third. She's the like third from the top. Oh, okay. But she was bragging. That's like the farmer. So it goes, the top is like Brahmin, spiritual leaders, like religious people. Mm-hmm. And it's warrior class, which is kind of sick. That's sick. That's a sick class to be. But not many people are the warrior class. Can you work your way into the warrior class? No, you can't switch cast. Oh, yeah, you can. That's right. It, it, it follows you around uh, through every carnation. Yeah. And then you got the farmer and merchant class, which okay. is what she is. That's a Patel. 
Okay. Then they put tell you meat is like middle class. Middle class. Middle class in India. Then it's like servers and then it's the untouchables. Oh my God. Yeah. But how can you even tell the difference? Like, how do they keep track of that? Look, you out of all these things you showed me, is one place that looked pretty. And that was the, the first one. Half this place is like a, a building made of That gold. is beautiful. Now, that is heaven. <laughs> that is awesome. But wait, so how do they even know? I it, would just lie about where I, who I was. Well, it's based off your last name. Like, a lot of the untouchables, their last name is Dalit. Dalit. Oh, no, that's horrible. And then it's based off like what their family did. And then you're born into it. Damn. It. But I also found out, I thought, I was asking about the caste system. I thought it was, if you fuck up as like, let's say you fuck up as a Brahmin, you're going to get reincarnated as an untouchable. Mm -hmm. But it's not like that at all. Anybody that's a human is like blessed to be a human. In the If you fuck up, you get reincarnated as like a frog. Oh, okay. Wait, so so if you, so your, so your, your caste has nothing, has nothing to do with like what your grandpa did? No. So your grandpa was a thief. It doesn't matter. No, I don't get. Yeah, I don't understand the. I, I feel like the caste system is just shoehorned into the religion. It doesn't really make sense. Yeah, and it's messed up. Yeah, I don't. Hey, you know what? Martin Luther King went over there, and one of the Indians called him untouchable, and he got offended. Yeah, he was like, "Yo, he was like, yo, I'm just like, he like, we just like how your people is in America. Like, you are untouchable." And they said Martin Luther King was like, "What? <laughs> what the hell is you talking about?" Yeah. And he like, "No, like y'all can't drink at fountains. Like y'all can't do none of the normal stuff that everybody else could do." So then he was like, damn, you right, bro. We is untouchables. That is crazy because he went over there preaching like, we're all the same. Yeah. And then he got offended when somebody called him untouchable. Because I'm not dirty like you guys. <laughs> he was like, I'm showing mercy by saying that. You cannot love me. Yeah, yo. <laughs> yo, you know they make them, but you know they make them clean out like the sewers and shit like that? Yeah. Yeah, they just like they just, just plunge them in. Yeah, they plunge them down into the shit water. It's, it's, it's insane. I don't know. That's a terrible way. Bro, I would kill everybody before I do that. Are you crazy? I'm not, you think I'm going to just, you think I'm going to, you going to put me in down in some damn shit water? Never. Oh, also I learned about, so like basically like the Aladdin story is like an untouchable becoming, like dating like a Brahmin. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you can't really inter, inter cast date. What? That's so you like against the rules. Not, it's not, it's not necessarily against the rules, but like families are super against it. So, but what if you like, like middle class and you want to date somebody in the warrior class? It's, it, it's basically up to the warrior class's family. Okay. If they accept you or not. But what? my family comes from Farber, so I'm basically a Patel. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Damn. Yeah. I was about that. They don't like, uh, not everybody likes Gandhi. Like, he's not always revered. Mm -hmm. Because, like, during Gandhi's shit, there was, like, another group of, like, freedom fighters that were, like, taking guns from the British and trying to kill the British and shit mm -hmm. like that. And Gandhi was, like, super against them, obviously. Yeah. But once Gandhi, once they once they won and Gandhi was kind of in a position of power, he was in charge. Of, like, he could have not had them executed. They right. Were, like, on, they were, like, on trial to get hung. Mm -hmm. And it was up to him to be, like, no, don't hang them. And he's, like, fuck them. <gasps> what? So he let a bunch of people get hung. Damn. Crazy? Gandhi did that? I mean, that's not crazy because I don't think you knew about this, but Gandhi was also racist. He didn't like black people. Really? Yeah. That's why I never understood why Martin Luther King was all in his dick like that. Huh. Man, he was sleeping with kids. Gandhi? Yes. How? For real? <laughs> yes, bro. Oh, you don't know anything about Gandhi. <laughs> you don't think about the Dark Lord Gandhi, bro. Nah, that, that guy was evil as hell. That's the change he wanted to see in the world? Yeah, bro. Interesting. He was just a talker. He wasn't a doer. He yeah. didn't live a righteous life. He just talked righteous speech. Wait, he really fucked. Like, <laughs> can we can we can we can we Google Gandhi slept with little boys and little girls and things like this? He was a damn freak, bro. Huh? Mahatma was Gandhi a saint or a sinner? Mahatma. If your name Mahatma, you definitely was his fucking hoes, bro. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't know. Any of that. I didn't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's just really you don't really learn much about him in his yeah, class. He slept naked with his grandniece when she was in her late teens. <laughs> he said he wanted to test his willpower. <laughs> Look, man, he's not he's not my people. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's your man. You, you said that's your man, he's bro. Not even my man. Ah, that's your man. Now he hated you black said, people. He hated black exactly. That's your man. I'm team Martin Luther King, dude. Martin Luther King loved that nigga. No, he oh, okay. He just didn't like the untouchables. It wasn't that he didn't like him. He he was offended that the untouchables called him an untouchable. Gotcha. Yep. He felt like black people was at the bottom of the totem pole. Is there anybody that's famous that's not a pedophile? 
or racist. Yo, and, and, and this is my thing, Can though. We have one person. Just one. Every, they are, they, everybody's a pedophile, yo. Yeah. Bruh, the, like, the, the most famous people ever is they was all pedophile. Because I really feel like that's the least occurring crime. Pedophilia? It feels like the least occurring crime. Like, when you think about, like, shit on your itinerary that you might fucking do. Nah, probably bestiality. Least occurring crime? Eh. It's way more people fucking kids than fucking beast. Yeah, good point. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Yeah. How many people you out here fucking a beast, bro? Nah, but bestiality, at least, like, um, flirting with bestiality is way more accepted. As oh, like, yeah. I mean, honestly, people wouldn't even care. Like, people just say, like, that's a horse girl, but, like, that girl really has feelings towards yeah. riding equestrians. True. Yeah. No, I mean, that's true. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't even care. Like, I, in all honesty, bro, if I found out somebody was fucking chickens or goats or some shit like that, I would be way less angry if I found out they was fucking kids. Yeah, exactly. If you fucking kids, you gotta get the fuck out of here or I might kill you, bro. But now, if you fucking goats and chickens, I just got a lot of questions. Yeah, like, I'm eating goats and chickens. I'm eating them. Yeah. So, am I worse? <laughs> you see what I'm saying? True. What, listen, what's worse, cannibalism or fucking a person? You see what I'm saying? Mm hmm Uh... Why are you thinking about it? The fuck you, what you mean? Uh, what, I said, what's worse, cannibalism or fucking a person? Well, because you're saying cannibalism is better. Eating a person's crazy. Wait, what? Well, I don't even no, know. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying fucking a person is better than cannibalism. So I'm saying BC Ali might be better than eating the fuck than eating fucking meat. Okay. I was uh, come on, We're bro. How, how'd I lose you like that? You supposed to, you supposed to be like, Naeem, you know what? Good one. <laughs> Good one, Naeem. My but bad. instead, you put the Joe Rogan on me. <laughs> I'm sorry. You put the, wait, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> so you think, so you think eating people is actually better? Like, like come on, bro. Us. Don't turn the Rogan on me, dog. All right, we're starting off too raw, man. We, gotta... <laughs> we did start off raw. It's his fault. It's George's fault for bringing up fucking eye parasites when I was complaining about my shit. True. All right, let's do the. Okay, what, what's up? The honey badgers. What are they? Up oh, you know, we, what do you say about honey badgers? Uh, okay, they might be the worst thing in the world to encounter. Oh yes, bro. I seen a video with like three lions trying to kill a honey badger. Yeah. And they were having a time, but bro, they, they were having a very hard time. What does a honey badger do other than fuck people up? I mean, I think they're just like super ferocious. Yeah. And they could take a lot of pain. I think probably the thing with honey badgers is they got like terrible branding because nobody knows really what they're up to, but you hear honey badger and you think it's a sweet animal. True. But it seems like they're really mostly up to, they're mostly hell bent. They're, yes. Look, look, oh, this is the video. You found it that quick. Hell yeah. And look at them. They look like I, it look like I could kill one of those so easily. Nah, that's a wolverine, man. What is this Africa? Yeah, obviously, right? Yeah. You know what? My now my brain not might not be working for this episode. I see. Yeah. What did you what did you do today? I don't know, man. Just fucking worked and been tired. I get that. See, look, they're having a they try like they they they're having such a rough time eating this guy. And it's like, yo, just grab his neck and bite through him. Anything that gets big as an animal, like anything that like acts big, it's Oh, that's definitely true. If you act tough. Yeah, you just got to act big in the animal world. Yeah. And he must have super rough skin because look at this. And look, oh. you see he's like running towards them. <laughs> yeah. Look, look, he's all screaming at them in, the, in their face. Yeah, he's the man. Can you get a honey badger as a pet? Hell no, bro. You don't think so? They probably bite your face off. You can't get like a support honey badger? Those things are ferocious, bro. Because there's that lady that walks around with the alligator in Philly. True. You could get a honey badger. Yeah, you can. If she can do that, yeah. yeah. I want to run into this lady and I'm, so I can make her alligator bite me. Yeah. I yeah. want to meet the alligator so bad. I do. They make the news wherever they go. I mean, she's nuts for doing that. Yeah. You shouldn't be allowed to do that, honestly. It's dangerous. I don't know how she gets away with it. All right. I don't know how. Look at this guy. Like, he's looking for a fight, bro. <laughs> like, he could just, he's not even trying to run away from these guys. And, look, and they're like fucking him up. Bro, this is nuts. But could a hundred badger really fuck you up? A person, I'm sure. What do they got on? They got big old claws. They got claws. And the, and the thing is, bro, we got like, and look, he bit that lion's nose. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? And then like as a human, we got like super soft skin. Like our skin can easily be torn through by any type of animal. Yeah. I mean, honest to God, like facing a raccoon, I'd be feeling scared. Bro, a raccoon could destroy you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's like most animals really could destroy you. Yeah. We our skin's way too soft. I tore through my own skin the other day just by scratching. You ever do that before? <laughs> yeah. You ever go like this and be like, ah, damn, how the fuck I just do that? You ever do one of them? Yeah, and they're just bleeding. Yeah, they just bleeding. Like, what the hell did I just do to myself? The only animals that can't fuck us up are the ones that we choose to be around. Birds, raccoon. No, birds, squirrels. That's about it. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, yeah, I could fuck a squirrel up. 
and a bird. Hundred percent. Why is he laying down like that? What are they doing here? It are they about to let a honey badger out on this guy? <laughs> Videos titled "Honey Badger Attacks Cameraman." <laughs> oh, nice. Well, they are practically asking for it. This whole setup just seems like it yeah. This setup there. is nuts. I hope they mean the cameraman that's filming it from our angle. I hope he runs all the way to where we are and jumps on this guy. Oh, here we go. Honey Badger's out. Oh! Hey. Nah, I could fuck one of those up, man. I mean, I think I could stomp on one pretty hard. They're yeah. pretty fast, though. They are kind of fast. Hmm. Dang, bro. Good facts. Uh, what was his name? Chase? Yes. Good facts, Chase. Thank you, Chase. I, right. We appreciate that. Send some more in next for the next episode. All right. Go ahead, Ben. You yeah, let's go to my one. Let's see what we're bringing in. Oh, I got an animal fact. Can you click nice. the uh, Can you click the link, George? I found out about a new bird. Ayo, hey, actually, there, you know, there's a bird called the bearded vulture, which almost exclusively eats bones. What? <laughs> he just swallowed that whole damn bone, bro. He didn't chew it. What? <laughs> That's its whole diet. It's straight from the fucking chains of hell. Yo, what? He eats bones? <laughs> the thing is pure evil. It's it's its stomach is mostly like thick acid. I'm sure if you could just bruh, that bone was almost long as his body and he just swallowed it. Yeah. And look, why is a guy holding him dressed like a damn <laughs> He just like he on Game of Thrones stuff with this bull? Yeah, he looks like a medieval surf fed. Yeah. Yeah. He got on a leather do-rag with a leather vest. <laughs> That's nuts. Would you be scared of that man if you're like walking uh, the streets of Philly at night? A guy you dressed like that? Yeah. Hell no yeah. No falcon. No falcon. All right. Yeah. Oh, without the falcon? Hell no. I whoop his ass without a falcon. But with the falcon? If he got the if he got the damn bearded vulture on his arm like that, yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. You gotta get a tough bird. Bro, he just look at this. He just gobbled down a, a tire. That's somebody's femur bone, bro. Yeah. Imagine. Um. I mean, fucking. If you're in a like Hades, just all warlords right now. You know? It is, but if you get if you're a warlord and you got a bird on you that eats your victims, mm. bones, come on, you get to take over so many countries. You probably get true. Dominican Republic with all that. You know, that's definitely true. Yeah, you are, you running around Haiti with that, you the <laughs> man. That's so. If cool. you got that with some child soldiers and a gun, <laughs> sky's the limit. I mean, I'm Jordan. That's too cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. What do you think about the Haiti stuff? Are you are you uh, informed on that? Yeah, we were just talking about that yesterday. Um. You know what? I like when things go back to like olden times. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, warlords taking over. It, it's interesting that it's a warlord with no political message, really. No, he just wants to kill and eat people, right? Yeah. Just, ain't this barbecue whole thing? Yeah. He just want to kill motherfuckers and eat them? He got the name barbecue because he likes to set people on fire. What? That's where the name, because he likes to barbecue people. I feel like Haiti always has like the most legendary killers. Do they really? They always got some crazy names like that. Do you know anyone else from Haiti that is a killer? Yeah, it was one that just, I think one that just got killed uh, like a few years back. I forget his name, though. No. Can we look up um, Haitian warlord? Have you ever known anyone to do voodoo? Um, No, but I know people that, put it like my mom has friends that like practice it. Yeah. And they say that it's real. Do you, do you think that places like Haiti and New Orleans are cursed because of the amount of voodoo they do? No. No? Because I don't think voodoo is a bad thing. I think voodoo is the original religion of Africans. Yeah? Yeah, but it got perverted by like like white people told us that it was evil. It's not evil? No. Is this an AO actually? I, I think it's evil. Of course. I mean, if you in America, you think it's evil. Really? But yeah, I think it's the... I think it's like... I put it like this. I think there's a space between like normal life and like paranormal life where like you can manipulate that shit and I think that's what voodoo is and I think a big part of that is uh, and I think and I know that that was like the ori original African religion and then one day somebody came with Christianity like no that's evil devil worship you know what I'm saying okay I was reading about voodoo today cause one of like where they get their power from is there's like two types of death which is like natural which is old age or sickness mm -hmm. and then there's unnatural death which is like murder or suicide mm -hmm. and everybody that gets murdered or suicide their souls linger outside the grave mm -hmm. they linger around so the person the voodoo practitioner absorbs the soul and Ooh. then manipulates that and now I think the I think the people at the tippy top is doing it like I think our country I think like our country takes advantage of that type of shit too you see what I'm saying 
Yeah. You kill a whole bunch of people, you just absorbing them. You ever seen a movie Highlander? That's literally what Highlander is. Yeah. He's cutting people's heads off and then you see all this electricity and she start popping off and he absorbed their power. For real? Yeah. Oh. Man, I, I really am so susceptible to believing in the evil cults, but that would just be like, what, like 9-11, they kill all those people and then absorb their souls. Yeah, like, bro. Power. Yeah, dog. Yeah. And just gain more and more power. And also, and this is why I'm saying this about Haiti. Haiti isn't cursed by voodoo. I think voodoo, in fact, helped Haiti because they were the only black people that got enslaved that killed all the white people and took their island over. For real? Yeah. So ha Haiti is so fucked up because uh, France, basically Europe, put a whole bunch of like trade tariffs and shit on them. So you can't trade and you can't send anything to Haiti without paying a ridiculous amount of money. Because they basically wanted they wanted to make sure that that country fucking failed because that's the only country where the black people was like, wait, we outnumber the white people. Why don't we just kill all of them? And that's what they did. And it was a French colony. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Interesting. Is that the only time France ever like had slaves in a country? They lose everything they do. They do, don't they? They can't win. Yo, anything. France is so <laughs> That's crazy. They lose everything, no bro. No other country fucking had that happen to them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think part of it is the accent. Because I think if you like some slave on an island somewhere and you hear somebody running around talking about some, uh, uh, ex uh excuse me, uh, can you pass me the, uh, uh <laughs> gray poupon? I think that they're going to be like, this nigga gay. We killing him. <laughs> yeah. He, he enslaving me. Fuck, no. You see yeah, what I'm we saying? Can take over here about a minute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. But no, it's a tough. I mean, they've done evil things with the accent. They have. No, they really have. But I think after a certain amount of time goes by, you just look, watch how they live and shit. You like, these motherfuckers is soft. Yeah. You gonna let them fucking enslave us and shit like that? No, hell no. But they were being ultra brutal on that island. They was like, they would they would take pregnant ladies and hang them upside down and cut their bellies open and just let the baby fall out. Like slaves? Yeah, they, they were doing that to the slaves. Just to like send a message? Yeah, just to like scare them. Eesh. Yeah, bro. But them Haitians wasn't with it. They was like, wait, hold up, man. It's way more us here than y'all. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Which I would have thought everybody would have done. Because, like, don't get me wrong. Of course, in America, the slaves didn't outnumber the people. But they outnumbered the people on the plantation. You see what I'm saying? Like, it was more slaves working on the plantation than the white people that was running it. Yeah. That happens to every, every island that tries to rise up is all the land countries mm -hmm. isolate them. Yeah, true. They get That's why Cuba's like back in the 50s still. Exactly. They could have been something. They could have. Communism could exist on an island. It could. You know? Yeah, it could. There's no reason. I mean, it's an island of literally just Cuban people. Yeah, communism can exist in a small population. Yeah. But they got yeah, fucked it could. over. I mean, what the thing is, that's why I believe there's some type of, it has to be some type of world like organization or some type of world like plot that, that like everybody has to follow because... Why is everybody, like, mad at Haiti? You know what I'm saying? Like, why is everybody following that shit? Like, why wouldn't one country be like, no, we're going to build Haiti up? Mm -hmm. Not one country, not even an African country. Like, not Nigeria even, didn't say it. Not even the Dominican Republic. Not, the Dominican Republic hates Haiti. Yeah, they fucking hate their guts. Yeah. And they're the same island. Same island. Yeah. Just split in half. So uh, that's what makes you believe, like, all right, all these leaders probably have, like, an agenda. You think so? They have to. Because not one leader came out like, you know what? I'm not even mad about it. Y'all was trying to enslave him. I'm not mad. Fuck it. Damn, maybe I am uninformed about literally everything. Well, no, you know the you know the the CNN version. You know the news version of everything. Well, my theory was just that if you do voodoo, you know, like, well, finger, you like, point three fingers come back at you. You know what I mean? Like, uh, if you okay. cast a spell, you get three evil spells back. On right, that. right. I you mean, know? no, if that was the case, nobody would do it. Yeah. <laughs> Why would anybody do voodoo if... Every time you use it, it affected you in a bad way. Maybe you don't realize that it's going to happen, then it then it does. Voodoo been around forever. Somebody would have realized that. I guess so. True. I think I, I'm pretty sure it's just an African religion. Because this is the thing, bro. Christianity not real. Because mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't a Christian. Yeah. Come on, man. I'm just saying, he wasn't. You don't got I know it's your month and all, but you know. I know it's your month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. If, why, every Christian should be Jewish. No, he was y'all leader was a Jew. He died to end Judaism. No, he that's not what happened. That's what he was doing. <laughs> that was the point of it all, bro. Y'all should all just be Jewish. I do kind of believe that Christians should follow Jewish holidays. Yeah, if you want to, there's no really good explanation for that. If you are Christian, that means you are trying to live like Christ. Yeah, he lived like a Jew, so yeah, be he, a damn Jew, bro. Exactly. That's I, all I'm saying. I think you should be Jewish and follow Jesus. I think that's the correct religion. Nah, but he prayed like how a Jew prayed. He didn't pray like how, he didn't pray how Christians pray. 
because we pray the name of Jesus. He fucked everything up for us. <laughs> no, he, he never told nobody to do that. Y'all, somebody, Constantine, Constantine came along one day and was like, you know what? I'm making a new religion so I can control these people, bro. That's all that was. Now, I mean, here's the thing. You, you've you grown up hearing all the fucking things about Christians. I, I didn't even get time to prep for this debate. <laughs> Next week, I'm coming so anti-Muslim. Your fucking head will spin. <laughs> I don't, uh, even, I don't even, you know, here's the thing. I don't even think about y'all. How about that? I don't even think about y'all. <laughs> we have the fastest growing religion. Thank you very much. For real? Yes. Interesting. The fastest growing religion. Y'all make good points. They're, your holidays are fun. You get me on the fence sometimes. And all I'm saying, bro, if everybody lived how a Muslim is supposed to live, the world would be in harmony. You think so? Bro, we don't, bro, we don't even believe in interest. There is no interest. You take a loan, you, you give me back the exact amount of money you, you took, bro. Yeah. No interest. You know what Jews believe is, or are supposed to believe is like every 50th year, all debts are relieved. Yes, I heard about that The before. Jubilee. Yeah, I heard about I that. I believe in the Jubilee. That's beautiful. Come on now. Yeah, come Why on. Why not? I like that. That's a good one. That's a great one. You can't have a debts after 50 years, man. You're, no. That's a grudge. Yeah, You're like, being, come on, that's way bro. Too much. That's too much. Yeah. Yeah, they, yeah, what do Christians believe? Christians have zero money things that y'all believe in. Yo, the only money thing y'all believe in is giving it to your damn pastor. That's what y'all believe in. Just giving money to some guy so he can be rich for no reason. No, I mean, if, okay, if everybody believed every, if everybody acted like every religion, then there would be world peace by your standards. If you follow Christianity to a T, life would be perfect. Mm. You wouldn't ever fight back against someone fighting on you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess if we all live by the books, we would be good people. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Come on now. That's true. Coming at me for no reason, man. <laughs> Here I am I was, sitting at Harmony with my Muslim brothers. <laughs> <laughs> no, we we believe in the gospel. We believe in everything that Christians believe. Yeah. Our uh, Islam came from Christianity. Yeah. So I'm just bullshitting around. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right, let me do one. Oh, all right, this is perfect for right now. Hey, yo, Axie. Hello, guys. That's the end of the fucking free episode. We. Sorry, we had to sell out. We need. We did sell out. We did. We need money. We this, need things. We don't want. I don't want to have to. Me and Ben stop have day jobs. Do you see how silly we are? We're going to get fired any day now. So I we, am almost fired almost every day. Same. Yeah. So we need to figure out a way to make money. We do film at three a.m. and it is cutting into my sleep schedule. Yes, we film so late at night. We 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 research facts while we're at work. I got pulled into the office earlier today, and they said, "Naheem." Why are you looking at all these goddamn facts all day? Do your fucking job. And I was like, all right, I'm sorry. So I'm going to get fired. So because of that, the rest of this episode is on Patreon. This is like PBS going behind a paywall. It is. But <laughs> it's, only, it's like Elmo with an OnlyFans. What is our membership? Two, three dollars? Come on, bro. Y'all got three dollars to pay for the fucking <laughs> three bucks. Three dollars is nothing. Do you know what you do with three dollars? Huh. A gallon of gas is more than three dollars. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. A pack of backwoods, more than three dollars. <sighs> pack of bacon, bro. I know what fuckers they eat a pack of bacon in one sitting. Raisin bran, six dollars. You know what you're talking about right now? You're like, <laughs> we're in a mass on, inflation. Bro. No, my bad, my bad. But three dollars, bro. Everybody got three dollars to see the rest of our fucking episode. Like, come on, you're not gonna learn these types of facts. And it's and and it's extra funny. So watch it. Just pay three dollars to watch it real quick. Mm -hmm. But yeah, y'all. Click on the Patreon link so you can see the rest of the episode. It's very funny. You don't want to miss it. We said some very inappropriate things. I told secrets about Shane Gillis. <laughs> Look it up. Click on the Patreon. Oh, yeah. It, it switches to secrets. Secrets is the up. That's the Patreon. It's all secrets about all the people that we respect and admire. So tune in. Click on the fucking link. Do it now. Subscribe.